It's funny, my um my prophets always get the worst comments whenever they mention kingdom marriages. So I have some that are like dedicated to it. And they hate it. Like another kingdom marriage where I'm I'm with you on this. I got this this morning, so I think it's funny. Me and my wife were the first um, laid at my feet that tried out the kingdom marriage thing. Ours got destroyed. So <laughs> it's like, I, I feel your guys' pain on this, but um, I could make your spouse love you. Like the scripture says, turn in Pharaoh's heart and all that. But what the important thing is, I wanted you to understand your spouse's spirit loves your spirit. That's who you are. You guys are in a whole, we're in a, me and Mary are in a different bond and love. You and your spouse are in a different bond and love. It's what you want, trust me. I had to push a lot. And one thing, um, when the spirit of the Lord is upon you, and you guys have never felt this before, the spirit explains to you in detail how much power the spirit actually has. And I went through a really um, <clears throat> way out there walk. Like I looked like I was in my own realm, but everything I was doing made perfect sense to me because the Holy Spirit was explaining things to me and putting confirmation in front of me. So you guys that feel like you might be out there right now, you're not. And I tested something. The devil has no power in my kingdom. My wife probably would have freaked out if she saw it, but some guy, <clears throat> she called it throwing magic. And I guess that's what he was trying to do, but <clears throat> he was talking to himself. So you guys are like in an invisible force field of love. So don't worry too much about anything. Um, we'll confirm. <laughs> My poor prophets. <laughs> I know they're tired of the kingdom marriage thing. It's been a controversial thing in this Christian uh, circle. Some have been vehemently against it. A lot has had to do with them not wanting to open up their heart again, though. So, you know me. I always lead you out of your comfort zone into what's going to help you. <sighs> Yeah, all of that is not good. That is for... The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Woe to the shepherds of Israel who only take care of themselves. Should not shepherds take care of the flock? And then it's... We're pretty much over that. So my Church of Christ is really, really um, flourishing and important. And what I want you guys to do, feel it out, of course, feel it out and see what I'm trying to tell you through the videos. Like I use visuals. I um, let the Holy Spirit speak how it's supposed to be. <clears throat> and as they said, and they said, Jesus of Nazareth, I told you that I am he, Jesus answered. If you are looking for me, then let these men go. All right, so that's all I'm supposed to say. So um, I love you. <clears throat>